While North Texas sees some heavy rain and lightning and flooding tonight, many people are thinking back to three years ago when an outbreak of deadly tornadoes slammed our region just one day after Christmas. Aaron Jones is live tonight in Dallas with that story. Aaron? Ken, the storms we've seen across the Metroplex today have really made a lot of people nervous. One Rowlett City Councilman we spoke to says it brought back memories of three years ago when the deadly tornado hit his city. People have just, you know, had Christmas and um, opening their gifts and spending time with family, and the next day their lives are taken, you know, and then homes are their homes are destroyed. Blake Margolis remembers December 26, 2015, like it was yesterday. I posted, you know, large tornado on the ground. At the time, the current Rowlett City Councilman was running a scanner page on Facebook, posting updates on a tornado that was barreling towards his home. I was in a closet doing the updates, waiting for the tornado to hit my house. Um, fortunately, it did not hit my house. It had just uh, it had moved off to Lake Ray Hubbard. Leaving several of his neighbors homeless. Hearing the, hearing the sound of gas leaking and people screaming is something I'll never forget. These are photos he took in the days following. It was a long process, to rec long road to recovery uh, for our community. But he says what this community went through made them stronger than ever. It's um, really uh, telling to see uh, and inspiring to see the re recovery that our town has made um, after the tornado. That's the good that came out of this. And there was supposed to be a moment of silence for all affected by that tornado, but it was canceled due to bad weather. We're told organizers are working to possibly reschedule it. Live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.